Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing wonderfully on this fine evening. Today, we are gonna be hopping into my April sketchbook and looking around at what I drew this month. So let's do it. All right, let's hop into it. So, we start off as per normal. If you've watched any of the past sketchbook tours, you know we like to start off with the page of fruits. I added vegetables this time because I was running out of fruits. And let's just write the date in here. We finished this on April 29th, 2021. There we go. Started with just a pretty average sketch of a lady. This one I was just cleaning my brush from the acrylics and then it was kind of the shape of a person. So I drew a person. It was just a sad man. I think he's praying. I don't know. Well, I don't know what he's going through. I don't know the story, but he doesn't look too happy. This is just some hands. Uh, this is a storyboard or this little animation I did. There's a little toad guy waved at his brother who's up on a cliff. The brother grabs some feathers and goes and runs and jumps off the cliff and flaps like a Looney Tunes, looks at the camera, falls. Oh, darn. And the little bro is at the bottom and there's a big dust cloud. So. That was fun. Just some doodles. I was killing a marker here. As you can see, it's very sketchy. and Just drawing some characters, working on expressions. So one of my favorite bands, the Grey Havens. I was just drawing them, working on it. I wasn't super happy with either of these. So I did a painting and I am quite happy with these. Uh, this was probably the happiest I've ever been with skin that I've painted is on her here. His is too saturated, but it was still a really fun exercise. This was just me cleaning my palette from that painting. I had a bunch of paint left, so I painted two characters. This was me doing my thumbnails for my plein air painting video. And if you haven't watched that video, you can check it out right up here. That was a really fun outing. This was me just doing some video action studies. I was watching a lot of Ethan Becker recently, and he says you want to use reference from videos and not from pictures. So I took his advice and there was a video of me and my brother and my cousin fighting with sticks in a forest. So I did that. And then here we have a uh, elderly hiking couple and I was only using green and I wanted the wife to be like a darker skin tone. <laughs> but I just painted it green and it looks like she's the Hulk. So that kind of backfired. Here we have a stylized landscape with some magical fire in the middle and some faces. This is where we get into some Stormlight Archive fan art. Uh, fantastic books. This is Syl. She's a little wisp character. This is Janessa. This is just some figure studies and one of the characters from the Stormlight books, Kaladin. I'm not super happy with this one. It was just cleaning off my brush again. Then we get into some more refined character drawings. This one, uh, his face is really stretched out. Doesn't look super good. This is Sh Shalon. And I think this was supposed to be the king. It was supposed to be Adeline, but uh, yeah, it ended up not being him. This is Dalnir and Janessa again. And, uh, I don't know, I'm not super happy with that one either. So it's just some thumbnails for Draw This In Your Style. And then we get into a bunch of video reference drawings. They're really light, so you might not be able to see them. Uh, hopefully it focuses. These are all climbing videos that I was studying of me and my brothers at the climbing gym. Just a light landscape, some more hand studies. I'm actually quite pleased with that hand and that one's pretty good too. This is a honey badger as a Viking because as you do, and just another pose study. Here we have some painting studies. I was working on skin tone and I'm happy with that and that and that. This is okay, this is okay. Not my best work. Then I was just drawing some character interaction. Uh, that was fun. This is uh, a refined version of this guy. So I wasn't happy with that one, so I drew him again and I'm quite pleased with this one. It captures the essence of the character, I think. Just inking without any intention or thought. That was fun. Some machinery. 
That was also enjoyable. Some more poses. I was trying to work on getting dynamic poses and simplifying the body. Here was a perspective study. Just wanted to do something a little different, something out of my comfort zone. So I drew this lady chilling on her balcony. This was uh, along with my Instagram followers. I was designing a character. And so this was just some of the stuff I used for my Instagram story uh, for the polls. This was, our, I did a hike with my dad. We did a 63 kilometer hike in two days. We brought my dog, Rexy. So this was her on the first night. I just sketched it and she was sleeping in the trees and she had done really well over 30 kilometers in a day and she did the same thing the next day so and that's where we slept we slept under a little tarp some hand practice this is um the result of that character poll that i did with my instagram followers and then we get into some character design here i'm gonna actually make her into a posable doll and i am going to make a youtube video out of that which will be fun and just some outfit design, me writing what materials I'll need, some lore. So she's actually going to be a part of an organization called the Nerium Order, but she will have left that because she's supposed to be around 14. So I'll have to make her look a little younger. And she's a veteran adventurer. So how does a 14 year old be a veteran adventurer? Well, how I work my way around that is she was part of like a almost Black Widow type training school. Uh, and she was being trained to be like a espionage assassin type character. And she didn't like that. So she used her skills to escape. And then this is her story. So I was just coming up with color palettes here. I ended up liking the green one because it makes more sense as she is a ranger. And yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. And then we ended off with a cartoony version of Sam Wilson, Captain America, because The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was just a fantastic show. If you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend. And yeah, I was a fan of the, the suit, aside from the fact that in the show, his ear actually pokes out of his little head cape. And I think it would have looked better if there was no ear, so. And then I just did some stylized vehicles, and that is what we have for April Sketchbook. So. These are continually one of my favorite things to do. Here is January through March and April is joining the lineup. So if you haven't watched these three sketchbook tours, I have linked them in the card or they're also on the screen here. And yeah, I would encourage you to go take a look. If you enjoyed this video, toss a comment, leave a like, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.